Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sky and Janae if you're new here and on this channel we talk about all things beauty and a little bit of lifestyle. I'm not even trying to hold y'all but listen, you see this lace, <laughs> not an over bleach, not in sight because we we don't do that. After you watch this, finish watching this video, you will be bleaching knots like you've been doing it your whole life. Like you'll be doing it in your sleep by the time you're done watching this video. So let's get right into it. These are all the products that I'm going to be using here. Y'all know I like to show y'all my products in the beginning. And I'll be trying to make sure y'all get the angle so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. Hey, bestie. I was on FaceTime while I was doing this as well. So here we have my closure. It's an HD 5x5 lace closure. And this is from my line that I am launching in the near future so a lot of y'all are always asking in my comments on all my other hair tutorial videos where's my hair from that is where my hair is from so yeah of course my same color bow and color brush from fame blah blah from framar i just want to show you the bristles and how they're tapered and how this is going to help with um bleaching or not honestly it's going to help having tapered ends on any brush color brush because it just gives seamless now, if you watch my other videos on how I, when I use my bleach, I use Matrix, but for highlight, not highlighting, but for <laughs> bleaching, not specifically, I use the Wella Blondor because it just oxidizes very well. And I'll explain that a little more in the video. And then, of course, I'm using the matching developer, which is 30 volume. Okay, so let's get to the mixing part. As you all know, I mean, you should know if you've been watching, but if not, that means you need to watch some more of my videos, sis, because I'm out here teaching how to do hair. <laughs> but anyway, I always start off with my developer and then add my color or my lightener just because that helps to mix easier and it will avoid it will help you avoid any clumping. And the great thing about this size, I usually always get this size just because of the way it's made and it eliminates the mess. Okay, I just pour it out, close the top and keep it moving. Now to explain oxidation, what I was talking about earlier as to why I use this brand specifically only on my lace is because once the air hits it, oxidization, that means the color or the lightener is going to start to expand. And specifically as it pertains to bleaching the knots on your lace, you don't want that expand if you don't want it to expand too quickly because then that's part of the reason why people over bleach their knots because the lightener has oxidized and it's starting to expand which means it's going to seep through the lace and into the actual hair so when we're talking about bleaching the knots the way closures and frontals are made they're made with like in a cro kind of like crocheting in a sense and you're really only trying to bleach the knots hence bleaching the knots so those little that little knot that you see at the base of the lace that is what you're trying to color you're not trying that's what you're trying to bleach you're not trying to bleach the actual hair and that's what gives the effect of balding like balding and over bleach knots is because the hair the bleach has expanded into the actual hair and didn't just stay and sit on the lace the point of bleaching the knots is for the bleach to literally just sit on top of the lace so it can bleach those knots it's not to see through you should your your bleach should not go through the lace that's just that's not how that works another reason people end up over bleaching their knots is they're rushing this is not a quick job the process of applying the lightener and all of that that is quick but the process as a whole is not something that you need to be rushing through because once you mess up your closure yes you can always fix it by you know adding color to the um to the parts that's over bleach but at the end of the day that just further weakens your lace doing this right the first time will help you keep the longevity of your lace because at the end of the day product i mean color and all of that that is still a chemical and it still is going to do some type of damage so making sure that you're taking your time is a big key another thing is you need to make sure this product is kind of thick you see me i constantly i'm constantly adding more liquid and more powder because i didn't want to put too much liquid because I didn't want it, to, it can't be super runny because like I said, we don't want it to seep through the lace. We literally want it to sit on the lace. 
So I gradually added the liner and I used so much, I put so much powder because I knew I had two closures to bleach the knots on. So I added a whole lot of powder. So I had to, you know, keep adding more developer in to just, you know, loosen that up and not make it as thick. Cause it was like paste thick. Now you see how it should not be falling off your brush, your brush. And you see, I literally can stand it in the bowl and it does not fall over. So that's about the consistency you want. That's how you test to make sure it's the right consistency. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video, the important part. But first, look at this lace, y'all. Look at it laying on this towel. You don't even see it, okay? That's that's what you call good lace. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's 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 get right into it. Now pay close attention I'm going to start at the back just because it get it helps you get your stride going it helps you get your motions together so as you bring it towards the front your hand is a lot lighter and as you can see it's not able to I'm not putting a whole lot of product on at once I'm putting on I put that little bit on and I drag that across and it's not going to spread all the way because I'm using a very very light hand that's that's why y'all be over bleaching because y'all be too heavy handed it's this is this is a delicate piece of fabric okay we need to be delicate have a delicate hand so I continuously start at the back and glide it towards the front and with a very light hand I don't know I just cannot stress this enough how light your hand is going to be or how light it has to be that's why it's not blending or spreading out completely you do see some pieces that like does that does not spread you do see some gaps in it and that's because my hand is so light i don't want to put too much pressure on it because like i said we are not trying to make this seep through the lace that is not what we're going to do because you're going to have over bleach knots and it's going to look crazy so don't do that have a very very light hand so once you get the motion together you can start moving up further towards the front of the closure and then spreading that um that lightener out And I like to thin, extend the lightener out towards the complete end of the lace, just so I can make sure that I cover my front. That's gonna that everyone is going to be able to see. I want to make sure I have all of those knots completely covered. Cause how awful would that be if you miss a whole spot right dead center in the front of your face, in the front of your head? You're gonna look crazy. So I just pull the lightener up as far as possible as you can see it's it's pretty close to the edge of that lace because i needed to extend past the actual hairline so i make sure i can get all of it so flipping it over helps combat the oxidizing but like i said it doesn't swell that much so you'll be fine and also you just want to lightly pat it so you can push that lightener into those knots now as you see the liner has not surpassed the lace it has not bled through the lace into the hair and that's exactly what we want and you want to let this sit on for an hour so I'm going to let this sit on for that hour rinse it and then come back and show y'all what this lace is looking like boom she looks good okay good to <laughs> capital T G O O D capital T baby the lace is nice are not so not over bleached and i used an orange not an orange a blue shampoo to help with the braxiness stop using yellow i mean stop using purple because that does not do anything that's why your lace still looks crazy you have to put makeup on this because you're not using the right color use a blue shampoo because blue cancels out orange and makes it neutral 
typically are not to look more orange but to the eye we might think it's yellow and if after you use your shampoo and it's still looking brassy that's because you used the wrong color but thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see how i make a closure wig go ahead and leave that in the comments and i'll see you all in my next video